Okay, so I haven't made a video in a while, and it's funny because I started my own vlog channel. Um, and then the truth is, I sometimes don't have very much to say. Um, <laughs> but um, speaking of having nothing to say, uh, I went for my second therapy session. This was like last week or whatever. And, um, you know, I didn't think I was going to have that much to talk about. And he kind of needled me here and poked me about this and that and the other thing and all of a sudden I was spilling my guts about like tons of stuff and like I didn't even realize those thoughts were in my brain and it's weird because lately you know just being so heavily medicated you know I feel that you know my thoughtful side my you know analytical side has been very flattened and deadened and, you know, I don't think about too much of anything anymore, whether it be world issues or my own issues or fun things or meaningless things. Um, so, yeah, it was it was weird to be spilling my guts to my therapist. And it's like, oh, that's why this is helpful for people. That's why I understand. Um, but he started bringing up all this stuff that, um, I don't know, you kind of have to wonder, like, is he going there and then it's like is it cut like part of me thinks that what he said made sense but then part of me thinks it's kind of like reading the horoscopes you know like um you can make any horoscope fit you if it if it has your sign on it you know um so part of me wonders if some of that ha you know if some of therapy is like that um but yeah, I go again, I think, next week, and um, I'm interested to see what he's going to bring up. Um, and so yeah, I want to know your guys' thoughts on um, cognitive behavioral therapy. I think it's really cool and interesting, but I also wonder how much of it is sort of put into your head and so you sort of believe it, if that makes any sense. So let me know what you guys think. Um, thanks for watching. I'm out.